Hey guys, welcome to Free Tutorial TV and I'm going to show you how to use lists in Python. List is an important method for data science. So first of all what are lists? So list in Python is a kind of collection which allows us to put many values in a single variable. You can also see that list is an ordered set of values. So let's define our list. So I'm going to just say x is equal to and you can define a list inside these square brackets. List is always defined in square bracket. And inside the list you provide some values. So for example I'm going to provide the values 3, 5, 4, 9, 7, 10. So this is how you can create a list in Python. And when I press enter it's going to create a list. And then I just use x to get the list. It's going to provide me all the values in the list. Now these values which are inside the list are called element. So 3 is an element. 5 is an element. All these values in this list are all called element. And all these elements are ordered by an index. Index of list always start from 0. So we can fetch the value which is at index 0. Using the square brackets. Once again with the variable. Name. And then right now write index 0. It's going to give me that element. Which is saved at index 0. So looking at this list 3 is at 0. 5 is at index 1. 4 is at index 2. And so on. So let's say I want to get the value where it is at index for 0 1 2 3 4. So I'm going to just write x square a bracket 4. And it is going to give me 7. Which is saved at index 4. Now it's not necessarily that the list must contain all the same data type elements. So for example I can also declare a variable called y. And in this I can save some name. For example max. I can save integer. Let's say 1 I can save a decimal value. Let's say 15.5. I can save other list inside this list. Using the square brackets for example 3 comma 2. So one list can contain different type of data types. With any number of elements. So when I press enter. List is update. This time I want to get. The value which is an index. 0. It's going to give me max. I want to get the value which is saved at index 3. Then it's going to give me this list. Which. I have saved at index 3. Now when you try to access the index. Which is not there. So I'm going to just write Y. And then I'm. Going to write 100. And this value is not present in this list at this index. So I'm going to press enter. And it's going to give me the error. Which is list index out of range. Now if you want to get the length of the list. You can use the inbuilt function in Python. Which is len. And within parenthesis write list name. So for example I wanted to find out. The length of list x. Write len 6. Result is 6. Because you can see here this list. It contains 6 elements. Or I want to get there. Length of the second list. Write len y and gives 4. Because y list contains 4 elements. Now it's also possible to insert. And remove elements from the list. So for example. I'm going to use x. Which has 6 element. Now and I'm going to insert. The 7th element. I will use a method called insert. And you can see this method. With an index and the object name. So I'm going to choose this. And the index at which. I want to insert the value is at index 2. And the value a I want to insert is some string. For example Tom. And I'm going to press enter. 
and I'm going to print the values inside the X list. Then you can see this list has seven elements and Tom is inserted at index two. We have inserted this value and in a similar way you can remove dot something from my list also. So to remove something you can use your variable name for example x dot removed and the value you want to remove. So for example I want to remove Tom which I have inserted at index next to when I print the value of x it's going to give me value without Tom. Now let's say that list contains two element which are exactly the same. So I'm going to insert one more element in index one and this element will be three for example. And now my list contains two times three here. And if I want to remove this three so I'm going to use the remove function once again and I will say 3 and then press enter you can see only one 3 removed from this list so you can see these 3 are at index 0 and then next one so this value is removed which is at index 0 and this will remain in this list so if a list contains duplicate values it's going to remove the value from the left and also remove is going to remove only one object which is found first in the list. Now if you try to remove the element which is not there in the list, now I'm going to remove something which is not even there in this list, then it's going to give us this error which says that this is a value error and it cannot remove this value from the list. Now there is one more function with the list which is a pop method. And this we can use to remove the values from the last. So you can see our list, which was previously having six elements, and 10 was the last element. And when you use this function, which is pop out the last value from list. And now let's see the content of the list. So now this list contains only five element. And the last element is now removed. Once again when you use this pop method. It's going to remove the 7. 7 is last element. And now our list only contains 4 elements. Now let's say you want to delete the whole list. Now I'm going to declare a list. And this list will contain a few values. And then I will press enter. And you can see the values of list. And now I can use a function called del. And then the name of the list. And this function will delete the list. So I'm going to just press enter. And then once again. Try to access the values. Inside this variable. And now it says the name z. Is not defined. Because delete function has deleted this list. Now once again I'm going to create this list z. And now there is a function. Called clear. Which is used to remove. All the values from the list. So I'm going to just press enter. And then try to access. The value of z. And you can see this list. It shows now empty. Because we have used the clear function. Which is used to empty the list. Let me show you a few more functions related to this. So let's say I can use x and the values inside. x are 3, 5, 4, 9. And I can use a function called sort 
to sort all these integer values that are inside the list. And once I press enter, now now you can see all the values are sorted. And you can see all the values are sorted in ascending order. You can also use method x dot reverse all element reverse sorted. So once I used reverse function and then when I tried to get all the values inside the list you can see all the values are now reversed in order. There is also a function called append and here you can append anything to your list. Now I will append 10 to the list x and when I tried to access this list you can see at last 10 is appended in the list x. Also if you wanted to copy one list into the other you can use let's say I'm going to declare a variable called s I want to copy all the values from the x list I can use x dot copy and this is going to copy all the content of the list x dot and save into s list so you can see all the values are copied into the variable less to let me append something into my list once again so I'm going to append 10 and now my list looks like this and that is a function call the count using which you can count the number of element which are in the list I want to find how many of the number of 10 in the list result is 2 and once again I want to count how many 3 are there in the list result is 1 let's say I want to count how many hundreds are there in my list and result is 0 so this is how you can use lists in Python now to see all method correspond to a list take list name then enter dot I will display all built-in method in Python for list operation I hope you have cleared about list in Python. We will see you in next video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Have a nice day.